Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me, Lydia, in my little crafty corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you these three cards and they use a technique that enables you to create a flat vellum shaker so you can send these to all of your crafty friends because they're really, really male friendly. So to start with, I'm going to be using a piece of acetate. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is exactly the same size as the card panels and the card bases I'm going to be using. So this is going to work as a guide. We're not actually going to use these for our cards. It's just going to be a guide. I'm then going to take one of the hearts from the Nesto Nesting Hearts die set. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue tape behind this. And I'm then going to attach this to my little piece of acetate here. So as I said, this is going to act as a guide. So I'm placing this exactly where I want it to be on my card base and card panel. So this is going to cut all of the pieces in exactly the same way so that the windows are in exactly the same place on each of the pieces. So I'm going to add this to my card panel and I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape just to keep it in place so it doesn't move around so that the windows here are in fact in exactly the same place on all of the pieces. So once I've got that in place I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine to create my beautiful little window in the front of my card panel. So you then can just, just remove this beautiful washi tape from the side. You could use painter's tape or anything that you do have. I'm then going to take the exact same piece, the little die hasn't moved on my guide piece. Again, I'm just going to add the washi tape around the front of the card, open it up so I don't cut through both of the pieces. And then I'm just going to cut the front of my card base. So again, I'm going to remove this washi tape and I've done this on the same of three cards and three card bases so that they're all the same. As you can see, when I pop them together, that window is in exactly the same place. So here are my three card panels and here are my three card bases for my three cards. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna take a little piece of vellum and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark just the width of the heart and then I'm gonna cut these down so it is long but also small enough to just reach the outside edge of my heart, but then I can fold it over later on. So I'm adding a little bit of super sticky tape around my window. So this is the back side of the card panel. I'm then gonna add in the vellum. So as you can see, I'm leaving a lot down the bottom so I can then fold it over later on. I'm then gonna add some more glue tape. This time I'm being really, really careful that the glue does touch each edge it does need to touch each other so the sequins that we pop inside don't fall out. So make sure that it all touches so nothing can escape out of this little window later on. Once I've removed all the backing off this tape, I'm then going to add in my sequins. Now you don't want to add too many that it can't move around, but I've also added not enough in this one, I don't think. So you can really go to town if you want to, if you don't want too much of a shake, but you do want to keep it refined, defined, or within that heart die cut there that you can see. You don't want it going over the edges because you want them to stay in the center. I'm then going to fold over that piece of vellum. And for any of that's hanging over the top, I'm just going to trim that off. You're really going to want to press this glue tape down so it seals all of those sequins into your little shaker element there. And just how pretty does that look there? As you can see, I've done my three panels exactly the same. So I have a blue one, a pink one, and a multicolored one. I'm then going to add some glue tape to the front of my card base. So I'm going to go around the edge and then also around the heart as well. So you don't really need this to match anything. So it doesn't need to touch. It's just going to adhere the panel to the card base. So don't worry too much about that. Once all the glue is in place, I'm then going to remove the backing and then I'm going to add on the panel. I do line up the bottoms of the panel because that's where I lined up the bottom of the acetate guide when we did that, when we did the die cutting before. And as you can see, that is just perfect. And the windows line up perfectly, which makes me very, very happy. And as you can see, it does shake around a little bit and it's very, very pretty. I'm then going to do the sentiment. So I'm working on a piece of jet black cardstock. I'm just going to add a little bit of baby powder to act as anti-static powder. And I'm then going to use the Love Letters stamp set for my sentiments. So I've chose three of these. I'm just going to line these up onto my piece of jet black cardstock. And once I have the three of them in place, I'm then going to close the lid 
and then it's going to keep them in place and then I can ink them up. I'm going to ink them up using some of the embossing ink from Alta New. This is a very great embossing ink because it's very, very sticky and it keeps the powder in exactly where you want it to. I'm then going to use some of the pure white embossing powder, my favourite white embossing powder, tap off the excess and then I'm going to heat set this. Once it was heat set, I did notice there were a couple of white spots where the embossing powder had sat where I didn't want it to. So what I'm going to do to disguise these is take my Jet Black Artist Marker and I'm just going to just dab it on the dots that I don't want and it's going to make them completely disappear. I'm then going to add my sentiments into place. So I've just added a little bit of foam tape behind that here. It is very, very thin foam tape because I did want these to be really more, um, male friendly. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up using a gridded ruler and just pop them into place. A really simple card, but yeah, I think it's really pretty and it does have that really fun shaker element in it as well. So I didn't want to embellish these too much. You can if you wanted to, you could add some flowers or anything. It's up to, completely up to you. So here are the cards complete. I just love how pretty they are and how that vellum does kind of disguises the sequins, but also you can see them very prettily as well. So again, here are the cards complete. I really do hope that you've enjoyed the video and that you do like the technique and that you do give it a go. If you do, please let us know so we can have a look as well. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to watch any more videos, there's a couple more here for you to watch. And if you want to watch any more, please subscribe to the channel and you will be updated when we do upload a new one. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.